New at 9, the heat may be on, but the St. Louis Zoo still draws a crowd. And Fox 2's Angela Huddy has more on why visitors are now able to see more animals than they've been able to for the past three months. When the temperatures soar, St. Louis Zoo goers need to take a break. It's about 100 degrees out today, so it's nice to finally get some fresh air inside and just look at the birds and some nice cool air. Visitors on Tuesday found some heat relief inside the birdhouse. The three historic buildings, the birdhouse, the primate house, and the uh, herpetarium all have uh, air conditioning. And so in the middle of summer, they're really great areas to go to where you can still see some animals. But for a few months, you couldn't visit the birdhouse. Back in March, with worries about highly pathogenic avian influenza rising, the zoo closed the birdhouse and the cypress swamp to public access. The usually outdoor Humboldt penguins were kept inside, and flamingos stayed in their winter home until this past Monday. We couldn't put them out in April like we normally do, so they had to stay in a couple more months just as a precautionary measure. We didn't really want anything to commingle with wild waterfowl. Their precautionary measures paid off. Nothing at the zoo ever tested positive for the virus. Over the last few weeks, all birds in the zoo's collection have been returned to their regular areas. The penguins are outside, the water birds are outside, and flight cages open. Everybody's happy. So if you've missed seeing the birds and you feel like braving the heat, the zoo is ready for you to visit. Reservations no longer required. Well, if you plan your day right, come early in the morning. Um, and, and the animals are certainly much more active in the morning when it's cooler. Curator of birds Ann Tiber reminds you that not only is the birdhouse a great place to visit on a hot day, it's also a great place to visit in the winter. On a cold day at the zoo, it can become a tropical paradise. Reporting from Forest Park at the St. Louis Zoo, I'm meteorologist Angela Huddy.